So I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but I wanted to update you guys on Minecraft Now. A lot of people have been asking, what's going on with Minecraft Now? When can we expect it? And we got all those details, as well as what we can expect to see during Minecraft Now. It's officially back, which is good. They took quite a long break from it. We've only had it once, and that was during December. Let me know if you guys ended up watching it. I actually watched it once I got home because, first of all, it was on a Thursday, and Thursday is just an odd day to have a Minecraft event, but it sounds like it's going to be Thursday again this month. It's going to be February 10th at 12 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and then 18 o'clock Central European Time. So that's just a really crazy time, at least in America. Most people are at work or at school or just doing something that's not related to Minecraft. So uh, I guess they're just sticking with that time. They're sticking with that day. But no worries if you can't catch the stream. Of course, it'll be a video on their channel. I'll be covering anything that's brand new, something that might be significant for 1.19, something they've never discussed before. I'll be covering it, so make sure you guys have that notification bell sign clicked. If you haven't already, please consider joining the Stealth Army. Stealth Army is the best, but yeah, I'll have all the details and information down below in the description. I just wanted to update you guys on what you can expect to see during this event. And here's what they have to say. The second episode is brought to you by our host, Lydia. She's joined by Agnes and Alexander for a heated debate about alphabetical order. Do the benefits outweigh the pressures of having a name that starts with the premier letter? We will never find out because they are going to get upstage some notoriously seen stealing frogs with them. Discover how we're working on bringing them into the game in the 1.19 update and what makes them so irresistibly cute. Besides frogs, we are also going to get a look at your amazing warden art. I got a sneak peek of your submissions, and they are as terrifying as they are gorgeous. Well done. Lydia Agnes and Alexander will also take a tour of the legendary spawn point. The server that Mojang employees have been running around on for ages. What are they doing there? Are they having fun without me? I'm going to find out once and for all. So as I mentioned earlier, it's on February 10th. In fact, Minecraft already scheduled this on their YouTube channel. So you can set a reminder right now if you don't want to miss out on anything. I'm not sure if they're going to be covering brand new features that we haven't seen. It looks like they're going to be focusing on frogs, which I believe frogs released on the Bedrock beta like a month ago, maybe longer than a month ago. It's been out for quite some time now, so a lot of people have had the opportunity to play around with frogs. I know a lot of people haven't also, so if you want to learn more about frogs, especially by the team, the people that worked and created the frogs, I think this will be the perfect event for you, as well as showcasing Warden art. And if I'm not mistaken, Ant Venom is going to be answering questions, or he's going to be a part of Minecraft now in some shape or form. In fact, he actually tweeted this out not too long ago. If you could ask a Mojang dev a question about the past two years of Minecraft, what question would you want to ask them? Be mindful about asking questions that would be obvious that they can't answer. So more than likely, this is what it is, right? He's going to be a part of Minecraft now, which is pretty cool. I know Ant Venom's been a part of the Minecraft community for a long time, like over a decade. So he knows this stuff and it'll be good for him to sort of represent the community and hopefully ask some really good questions. I would love to know more about what's happening with the previous mob losers, the previous biome losers as well as the illusioner so that would probably be my question like what's happening with those mobs those biomes and what are their plans to slowly implement those features things we've been waiting on for three to four years i know a lot of people are curious about that as well as the combat mechanics like there's a lot going on that we're just waiting on so feel free to at ant venom on twitter I know a lot of you guys don't have Twitter, which is why I cover a lot of the tweets by the developers. But if you do, feel free to at him and uh, it should be a really fun time. I know some people were actually super angry and upset that Mojang didn't showcase or discuss anything brand new related to 1.19. And I don't really think it's that type of event. I know they sort of sold it on being something where they're going to showcase brand new content as well as talk about things related to Minecraft and the community, which might be true in the future once they get a couple more under their belt. But right now I see this as like basically a stream for Mojang for the team to just be able to stream and talk with the community 
and just chat ultimately, right? I see it as that type of event instead of just, here's a brand new feature. Here's this never revealed feature related to the deep dark. Here's something you might not know about 1.20. Like it's clearly not that type of event. They save those type of things for Minecon, for Minecraft Live, which happens once a year. Now, I don't think it's anybody's fault. I think they just got people really hyped and excited for something brand new, something that we've never clearly seen before. Just an event where you can hear and see your favorite developers talk about Minecraft and talk to us, the community. So let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about Minecraft now. What are some things that they should work on, improve on, introduce? as well as the questions like what do you want them to answer that one question you just want them to answer without sugarcoating anything i appreciate you guys supporting the channel click that notification bell sign and i'll catch you all in the next video so take care peace Ha, ha, ha.